begin to cut out our pieces for the center block. In the very center is the turquoise. I just have a strip here left over from my other project. <clears throat> and I'm left-handed, so I'm going to turn it this way. And we need three and three quarters square. So I'm going to go on my ruler here and find three and three quarters both ways. This way, this way. That looks good. Okay, there we have our center square. <clears throat> Next we're going to do the triangles around the center in this orange, brownish orange. And we need one square, four, and three fourths. This ruler is five by five, so it will still work. So I'm just going to come down to this corner again. Four and three quarters. Both ways, four and three quarters, four and three quarters. And then what we do is cut this on the diagonal in both directions. So we're just going to place it there. I'll need my bigger ruler for that. Eh, not quite. Let's take this one. And these don't have to be precise because we will be trimming all the edges as we stitch them together. And a couple ways you could do this, um, you could place them on top of each other or, or side by side. And then we're going to do one more cut on the other diagonal, corner to corner. There we go. So we've got the four corners there. And then for the cream, we will need two squares at four and a quarter, and then those will be cut in half. So I'm going to fold this in half just to get it so I can get the two pieces at one time. So four and a quarter would be there, and so four and a quarter there, four and a quarter there. And again, it doesn't have to be precise, so if anything, go just a little bit bigger rather than a little bit smaller. Okay, so that gives us two blocks, and then this gets cut in half on the diagonal, just like the other one, but we're just going to do it one diagonal. So these will be a little bit bigger triangles to go in the corners. There we go. So let's see how that's going to lay out. We're going to have turquoise in the center, the orange going outward from the center, and then the cream will go on the outside corners. And then I like to organize my pieces so I'm ready to sew. I can just go one piece at a time. And this block is pretty simple because all the pieces are the same size. They're asymmetrical. I'm sorry, they're symmetrical. <laughs> so it doesn't matter which one you use for B2 or B3 or B4 or B5. They're all the same. And then same thing with the four corner pieces, triangles. Those are all the same size also. You just have to be careful and know which side is the wrong side, which side is the right side. And then I put them in order of how I'm going to use them. And if you look on your block, this is B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And since the center triangles and the outer triangles are all the same size, you can just stack them up. So you start with the center piece. We'll add 
the inside triangles and then the outside triangles. So next we'll go to the machine and start sewing and I'll show you how to begin your block and how to add each of the pieces. We have some trimming to do and some stitching to do.